Hey guys, welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. I've done a few videos before on um, power meter apps. So the PPFD app and the Photone app. And uh, it really needs an update, it's long overdue. The uh, figures that I gave out previously for that app were based on spectrum that were available in the market at that time, including our old array spectrum. And it was based on a certain proportion of red uh, in that spectrum and the apps, so both the PPF app, PPFD app, the Photone app, and even when um, uh, linked to the Unity uh, Lux meter, which we found to be the most consistent, um, it has a, they're no longer relevant effectively for modern um, spectrum. So just to give you an idea of uh, how the change has occurred and why over the last few years, I've got a little chart here just displaying the old array spectrum that this was calibrated against uh, and very similar to a lot of other spectrum of the day. Uh, compared to uh, up-to-date spectrum, you see here are three examples. It's not just the array, you can see the HLG Scorpion Diablo and the Fluence Physio spec. So all the high efficiency LED grow lights have that higher uh, peak of red or proportion of red. Just to put perspective on it, the old array was just under 40% red and the new array and these the HLG Influence, they are just over 50% red. And that added red basically boosts the electrical efficiency of the grow light. So as efficiency has been going up, that red peak has been going up as well and uh, indicates to you that there's a lot of 660 nanometer uh, diodes, which um, were more expensive previously in years gone by, more affordable now, and also, you know, the pressure to increase uh, efficiency has um, driven manufacturers, same as myself, to add more red. And you may be concerned about the amount of red. And just to give you a perspective on this, so just around 50% red, if you are running a fairly standard grow light setup, that would be about 900 to 1,000 micromoles. So let's say 1,000 micromoles. 50% um, red will be around 500 micromoles. And that's well below where photo bleaching is, um, is deemed to occur, which is in that sort of 600 plus range. So you can be pushing all of these spectrum. Uh, so it doesn't matter whether it's the array or the HLG up to around 12, 1300 micromoles without concern about, uh, about photo bleaching. Um, and you can be pushing it higher in some strains, what we act anyway, it's, uh, it is strain dependent. But So these spectrum, albeit they have a lot of red, they're still within that, that um, range that is safe to use uh, in terms of um, photo, be photo bleaching. So next, uh, I did a bunch of tests. So I've got the new array 150 here, that's got the higher peak of uh, red. And I got the old uh, array two which has a lower peak of red. And I just did a comparison. So I, a lot of data on this chart now, so bear with me, I'm gonna to have to talk you through it. But um, I did it with a Samsung Android phone and an iPhone 15. And I did it on the old array spectrum. So a typical older spectrum and the newer spectrum. And I did it with the PPFD app, the Photone app, and the PPFD app matched with the Unity. And that'll be the same whether it's, the, uh, uh, whether it's on Android or, um, or uh, iPhone, because it's using this sensor and then converting it by a factor. So it makes it, I think, a lot more consistent and reliable. The problem is that with different iPhone models and different Android models, the sensors may vary a little bit. So the sensitivity may be different and you may not get the same results that I've got here. So if you're looking for a reasonable amount of accuracy, uh, I would buy the Unity for consistency. Um, just to put in perspective, these are around, I don't know, $40, $45, something like that for the Unity. Pair that with your app, uh, which you can get for free versus uh, you know, one of the cheapest uh, uh, accurate power meters um, available today is the Spot On, which is about $370, I think it is. Um, and you go up to the Apogee SQ500, which I used for this test to, for benchmark, 
um, they are seven or eight hundred dollars. So uh, this is a very good deal and will get you, you know, within about five percent of accuracy on these spectrum. So let's look at the chart. A lot to go into here. So uh, let's just look at the top line first. So we've got the calibration factor. So the number in the numbers in the boxes. Um, if you are reading your app and say, for example, get you get 100 micromoles, you multiply it by these factors to get the actual micromoles. So if it's 100 micromoles and you see in the first box there, you're using an Android, you're using an old array type spectrum, you've got the PPFD app, the PPFD app setting, so the, choosing the spectrum 3500K plus red, then you have this 0 0.9 factor. So 100 micromoles is actually 90 micromoles. And on the PPFD app, you can, you can um, change the setting, the calibration factor once, so that if you're using the same spectrum, the same setup, put in that factor of 0.9 and you'll be getting accurate readings, uh, good estimated readings on your, um, on your app with your Android. So as we go across here, you'll see with the Android uh, S22 on the old array, I measured it with the PPFD app, 0.9. PPFD app with the unit T, so that's paired to this by Bluetooth. And uh, again, it's a 0.9 factor. The Photone uh, app, there's only one LED setting on the free versions, which is full spectrum plus red. And just to note with this one, it requires you use a diffuser. And diffuser, I'll show picture, is just a simple piece of printer paper over the sensor on the phone. You can get a diffuser from Photon, which would, would probably be more accurate, but uh, we just just a piece of paper over the uh, over the front facing camera um, to sell it taped uh, on both sides. So that's uh, with the old array. With the old array on iPhone, again, PPFD app, uh, 3500K plus red with the diffuser, 1.14 necessary on the iPhone uh, to get an accurate reading to use the diffuser. Uh, 0.9 again with the Unity, it's going to be the same irrespective of the phone you use. And um, Photon 1.8, so quite quite a long way off uh, on that older spectrum. Quite a lot of um, calibration required to get it accurate. And then on the newer spectrums you can see different factor. So. Uh, you know, it's going from on an Android phone with the PPFD app with the same 3500K plus red setting, it's going from a 0.9 to a 1.25. So it's underestimating the red. You can see that. It's, it's saying we need to um, multiply the results you're getting, initial results you're getting on the phone by a higher number rather than a lower number. So it's not reading that, that red as clearly. And you can see that's the case across all of them. Uh, bar the iPhone with the um, PPFT app. But um, yeah, so they are the new factors. I checked them, I double checked them. They're not going to be 100% accurate, <clears throat> but they're going to be reasonably accurate for you to get an idea. Uh, I'd say, you know, broadly, probably plus or minus 5% on these readings, uh, you should be good to go. And um, as I said, if you want to get the more accurate reading, Pair them with the Unity. Um, links below for that. And uh, yeah, best to look with it. Love to get your feedback. Any thoughts or comments, please leave them below. And by the way, I'm not going to do a calibration factor for every spectrum out there. Uh, I don't have the samples here to do it. I don't have the lights here to do it. Um, and uh, it would just be an endless task. But uh, hopefully this is enough to get you going and um, so that you can uh, do your optimization by yourself. So. Looking forward to your comments. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. Bye now.